Hi, welcome to my channel, Psychic Kathleen. Today I'll be continuing along on my project of discussing a client's issue or problem question that they've brought to the reading session. A little bit about uh, the client's background and the cards I've drawn ha um, in response to their questions and how I've interpreted uh, that card in light of what their question has been. Um, so thank you uh, for joining me. If this is the first time uh, that you've uh, landed on my video, then please remember to subscribe to my channel and uh, press the notification bell that you would like to receive notifications in your email that I've uploaded a new video. And if you're returning, then um, I'm glad you've come back. Welcome. So the woman that came to see me today is um, a, a middle-aged woman. She never had children herself. She's going through a very difficult separation and divorce, imminently divorce. And their involvement with each other has been very complex. Um, she, they almost separated uh, a few years ago and then reunited. And recently she discovered that um, he had been engaging in an affair and she realized that the marriage was, was definitely over and he left. Uh, and now they're going through the process of um, dividing assets and she said initially he had been very unpleasant towards her um, but of late he's been very kind and I think mistakenly she believed and hoped that this signaled some regret on his part and perhaps a desire to reunite so that was uh, one of the I think primary reasons for her coming for a reading and I told her immediately that my intuition told me that was not the case that in fact um, he would not uh, be asking to reunite that was not in his mind at all and in fact um, this relationship with this new woman was developing at uh, galloping at quite a rate and they would unite and their marriage would go through so um, she asked uh, how he felt about this new person then, and that had come up, uh, the King of Wands, which kings are about resolution and wands are fire or passion. So I responded that basically the card had confirmed or affirmed really what my intuition was telling me before, as often happens in readings. Um, and that no, he was resolved in his passion for this woman and would indeed, uh, he was determined to see this uh, go through. So um, is then she asked, well, how does this uh, new woman feel about him? And that had uh, come up the world card. And the world card suggests he ticks all the boxes for him, he's, or for her that this new woman in his life actually does see him as, you know, having all the qualities and attributes that she's really seeking in a partner. So it's highly, highly unlikely um, that she would uh, initiate a split, uh, nor would he. Um, and that had come up um, also the hanged man, which is about not taking charge or not making a change, shall we say. The hanged man comes up when we're basically suspended and it's giving us a very different perspective because we don't have control of the situation. Uh, so it, in asking, are either one of them uh, going to split up the relationship, the hanged man would say, Neither one of them is, is inclined to actively make that happen um, and, and not for into any foreseeable future. Now, she wanted to know, um, she had two trips coming up and she wanted to know how are those trips going to go. The first trip came up, um, the Page of Pentacles. And I said to her, well, this is like a young person, a young student of the deck, 
but the favored student, the one that brings the apple to the teacher, um, does all their homework and submits it on time and is very sweet and, and honorable. One of those students in the class sits near the front of the class. So I said basically what the card's saying is that this trip will be enjoyable for you. Um, you'll learn, obviously, a fair bit. Uh, it'll make you feel young somewhat again. Um, but excitement, no. Romance, no. None of that is being suggested. Then she's taking a second trip uh, later and wanted to know how that trip would go. And that came up the Five of Swords, which really says, you know what? That second trip is actually a trip where you're trying to avoid conflict. So she said, well, she was going to visit a relative in that second trip and they'd had a history of a bit of trouble. So I said, maybe that would be a trip you want to redirect and go somewhere else. Um, you know, I, I don't, I, if I saw a card coming up for a trip like that for me, frankly, I wouldn't go. And I said, in the state of mind that you're in, how you're feeling, um, I think it would be a good idea to go somewhere else. Maybe someplace new or someplace that um, is more healing for you. Um, she wanted me, to, what she felt in the reading was there wasn't really anything here um, that gave her something to look forward to. And indeed, that can happen in a reading. I said to her, what you have to keep in mind is you're heading into a divorce that's very difficult. Her mother had been recently diagnosed with um, a, a terminal illness, um, and, and she is determined to take care of her through this illness. So, I think, and, and, you know, she's got some obvious challenges ahead. So I, I said, how could the reading reflect everything is going to be wonderful when you know darn well that's really not going to be. Now I said I think, uh, my feeling is that things are going to get worse before they start getting better. And she wanted to, you know, get some timing on that. So um, I, this is when I, I went at the um, transparent tarot again to get some answers. And as I had mentioned before, I find the transparent tarot to be such an interesting tarot to use and great for really simple, kind of straightforward questions. So um, this card down here in this corner, um, this had shown us how long. And what's interesting is the first card was the Four of Swords, which is like going in the hospital and recovering. That's the Four of Swords in the Transparent Tarot. And I said, your healing process is going to take you well into next June. That's how I felt, be next spring. And because of what I could feel was ahead for her, I felt next June would be the earliest she could expect things to start getting into the upswing. Um, then uh, she it came up the five of pentacles which is here which is showing yeah changing physical circumstances over which she has no control um are, are going to have which could be physical meaning health wise and monetary um that's what we mean by physical and and obviously her monetary um will be uh, quite uh, affected by this divorce um, and uh, she may be affected physically. And that led to a discussion about her health. She said mm -hmm. she'd been to see the doctor and had a full panel uh, done and hadn't had any results yet. Um, and I, I said to her right away, have you been losing sleep? And she said, yes, her sleep patterns were really disrupted. Um, and I said, well, you know, long-term sleep disruption certainly does lead to physical ailments. So you could be on the cusp of something. I would suggest that you make it your project over the next year anyway to do all those things that are really good for you where you can get nurturance and you can get support. She said she was in counseling. I said that that's somewhat of a help, but I, I think a combination of physical as well as emotional and psychological, is something you should, you should think about doing um, over the next several months anyway, next six months to a year. Um, it's, and then um, 
in the distant future had come up the Queen of Cups, which is here, um, which would be next year basically at this time, and that's emotional fulfillment. So I said, I don't see romance as such ahead for you into the foreseeable future, but um, certainly you'll start, you will be feeling much better um, by, by this time next year. So that's how long it's probably going to take you to get through um, the, you know, the divorce and the separation and um, caretaking, uh, making some decisions about your mother and her care. So this is what the card looked like, uh, the finished card uh, looks like in the transparent tarot where um, the, the past card is the Four of Swords, the present card is the Five of Pentacles, and the future card is the Queen of Cups. And when you look at this as a new, as a new card that's created in the transparent, we see her down here looking after her physical stuff and recovering from it. So there is a period of sickness and healing that's coming. Um, but the distant future, here we see her rising um, as emotionally fulfilled in the future. So that's what sort of generated, if you like, um, after, you know, some work and really taking care of herself. She described herself as someone who typically of women looked after everybody else and everybody else's needs came first and hadn't taken enough time to um, really concentrate on what she wanted. So I said, your new mantra is what's in it for me. And that's something you really need to start thinking about very carefully before you involve yourself in anybody else. So we were together for quite a period of time, um, explored all sorts of different aspects of her life and her feelings, and um, said, you know, she, at the end, felt a little better knowing that the Queen of Cups was a year from now, but certainly what she had been hoping to hear is that everything would go smoothly and better um, was not actually the outcome. And that's the way readings go. It's not happily ever after, unfortunately. So thank you again uh, for joining me here today. If you've enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. That helps me to reach a broader audience. And um, I hope you feel welcome to share the video with anyone who is interested in going for tarot readings or is a tarot reader themselves. I also prepare these videos in the hope of um, having it as a teaching tool so people can learn more about the tarot and what a tarot reading involves. If you wish to contact me, the best way to do that is to email me off my websites. Tarot by Kathleen um, at .ca and .com are very easy to find on the internet. Text me if you like or drop me an email. I've closed comments on all my videos because unfortunately this topic tends to entice strange reactions from people and I don't want my viewers to be plagued with um, real negativity and looking at negative comments. Uh, we don't really need that. <laughs> so um, anyway, thank you again for joining me here today and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye for now.